So the first step in the process to this is you're going to need to gather all your materials. So on your blueprint, um, it should be the first thing on the first page. It should say material list and then it'll have a list of all your materials and the amount needed. So just go down to your local metal dealer and either hand them this list or call them and read everything off of this list and they should be able to get it together for you. Once you have the material, then we can move on to cutting the pieces out. So once you get all your materials together, the second thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut out your main frame for your rack. So it is going to be the second thing on your blueprint after the material list. It's going to have a diagram that shows the main frame and all the pieces as well as a table which has the piece A, B, C, D, and E, the quantity of each piece that you need, the length of long side to long side, which I'll explain that concept in a second, the material the piece is made out of, and the angles that you need to cut at each end. So when I say long side to long side, here's my piece A as an example. When I say long side to long side, I'm talking about the outside of the angle to the outside of the angle. So this is the long side of the tube, and this is the short side of the tube. Another thing to note when you're cutting, so all of your tube is going to have a factory seam on it. You're going to want to make sure when you're cutting it that your um, seam is always on the short side of the tube because it's going to be on the inside of your rack. So on your final, project, on your final product, um, the seam is going to be invisible because it's on the inside edge of your rack. So um, my advice would be to take your time when you get it in the saw, make sure that the seam's always going to be on the inside or the short side of the tube. And one thing that helps me um, just to keep everything straight is when you cut it out, um, just lay it out on the floor as you're cutting it so you can visualize which pieces you already have and which pieces you need. And it also helps with making sure your seam is always on the inside or the short side of the tube. So pause the video, go cut your pieces, and then when you're done cutting your pieces, we'll go over a quick inventory of what you should have. So um, hopefully you got all your pieces cut okay. Um, so you should have a total of seven pieces. So the first thing is two piece A's, which should have a 20 and a 17.5 degree angle at each end. And um, so you should have two of those. You should have two corner pieces. And hopefully, like I said, all your seams should be on the short side of all your tubes. So you should have two corner pieces. Your top, your top piece, which is piece C, um, you should have one of those. And then finally, so I used diamond plate rather than four inch by eighth inch um, flat bar. So if you have access to something like a shear that can get you four inch diamond plate, you can use that or you can cut it with a slitter disc or a plasma, whatever. If you don't, you can just use four by eighth inch flat bar. It'll work just fine. So you should have that. So seven pieces total. Um, they should be the exact lengths and angles that it says on um, your diagram. So once you have all that, we'll move on to the next step.